Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. I'm Monique and today we're going to be doing a video on becoming an ALT. So a quick run through, I am from Jamaica and this is my second year teaching in Japan. And I teach at a junior high school, okay? So the first thing that we're going to talk about is who is an ALT? Anyways, the acronym for ALT means assistant language teacher and basically you're just going to be assisting a Japanese teacher within a public school. Now, this role of an ALT, it varies. So it's going to depend largely on the type of school that you're in, meaning like elementary school, junior high school, or high school, or even kindergarten. And it's also going to depend greatly on the type of teacher that you're working with. Because everyone has a different teaching style and they're going to require certain things from you compared to what another teacher may require from you as an ALT. But also we must remember that there is a cultural side to being an ALT where we are seen as ambassadors for our countries. Yay. Yay. This is me being sarcastic, but <laughs> I want to represent my country in the best way possible. So this. This didn't even have to be a part of the job description. I just don't want to taint the image of Jamaica and I don't want to make it bad for other Jamaicans who think or may want to work in Japan. So that aspect of it is fine for me. Next guys, what are the basic requirements to become an ALT? First, usually in most instances, you need to be a native English speaker. Secondly, you need to have a bachelor degree. And lastly, they want to ensure that you have gone through at least 12 years of formal education in English. The next step would be choosing a medium that you would want to come to Japan with. Meaning there are three mediums of becoming an ALT. It's the JET program. I'm just going to give you a quick run through through this. So this is a very strict program. This is an initiative of the government. It would have to be done through the embassy. No, they have a very strict process and very tedious. So at first I wanted to go through the JIT because they paid more. However, when I saw the steps, I was like, <laughs> I was like no bro, um, I'd rather not have my hopes dashed. But for those who do want to try, just know that it's very strict with the JIT program. You don't get to choose which school you want to go you don't get to choose which level of students you want to teach and you don't get to select the area that you want to teach and they only give you one offer like if you don't want that offer like bye like they're just done with you and like you can't reapply next year they're not having it but yeah that's the jet program but they do have their benefits though because they do provide some form of support for ALTs but guys, like I said, it's a tedious process. Like if you really want to go through that process, I would advise that you seek the Japanese embassy within your country. And usually they would want you to be like teachers, have some teaching experience, like be specialized in maybe English or so. Like they prefer stuff like that. Guys, my degree is in biotechnology. Biotechnology, like what am I doing teaching English? I <laughs> just... I don't know. I was just scared of trying the jet program. I was like thinking that I would not make it through. And guys, I do not like disappointments. So I'm really improving on that. For example, this channel. The next option, guys, is dispatch companies. A dispatch company is basically like a middleman. The Board of Education would hire these companies and these companies would source the ALTs. Now, guys, this is the medium that I came through and this medium has... has has some it has some some benefits for example guys with this medium usually sometimes they would ask what areas you prefer like for example the Kanto area or Osaka area or guys I'm out of areas like I, I, I don't know the map of Japan some other areas based on the areas sometimes they would adjust your placements or for example, if you want different levels, like if you want to teach at elementary school, junior high school, high school, these companies usually allow you to write your preferences. 
no guys you're not always going to get what you prefer but it's good to know that you have a choice some cons with the dispatch companies is that naturally your salary is going to be lower because guys which middleman don't want the money like which middleman don't want the money for themselves you get me so it's just going to be less than with the jet program you know so maybe around two thousand two hundred thousand yen to two thousand two hundred and fifty thousand yen per month which is like two thousand us to about two thousand five hundred us no another con is that some dis dispatch companies have a really bad reputation guys i don't know if it's some cases where people just have bad experiences and then they just rant about it on the internet but i have seen some very bad reviews so guys please read reviews before choosing your companies i am some of them are definitely better than some hence why i'm here in japan but yeah guys so just ensure that you do your research the next is the direct hires guys if you're not in japan i'm making it for guys who are not in japan so i'm just going to skip this here it's not happening but i mean it's really hard to get into guys next we're going to go into the interview the interview guys i had to do it i had to change my because it's japan oh so there usually is about two to three interviews so first you're going to do a phone interview so this is just over the phone and the second and the third interviews are usually skype interviews or video conferences no if you're doing one of these interviews if you have one of these now is the perfect time for you to take them out utilize them because japanese people love the image of professionalism and guys so usually the interview based on the time difference is going to be some very weird hours in your country because of the time in japan but just try to remain professional even if it's your bedtime but usually what you want to bring across in the interview is that you are enthusiastic you really enjoy teaching you are interested in japan and you want to give off the qualities of being reliable because it's extremely important for you to fulfill that one year contract so they really don't want alts to be breaking contracts and flexibility guys like they really want an alt to be flexible for example working with different age groups of children like when you're too picky it may be hard for them to find placements for you but for someone who's more flexible it's easier so you do want to give off the vibe of being flexible they also want to be responsible they need responsible person so you want to seem jovial but you don't want to be taken for a joke you know what i mean because they are very serious and businessy when it comes on to working and they're all about professionalism so that's it for the interview so we're finished with the interview and yes you landed your job next you're going to get something like a contract that you're gonna sign and they're going to need this contract to process your coe your coe is your certificate of eligibility uh, they need copies of like your diploma signed contract and they need a resume to get the certificate of eligibility now the company is going to sort that out for you and they have to mail it to you so when you get your coe where could i put it here here i don't know somewhere yeah you're going to take this to the japanese embassy and along with a travel plan like a route that you plan to go through for example if you're going to go through germany if you're going to go through the us you're going to have to take that to the embassy for me this is the most smoothly run and easy embassy i've ever been to like the japanese embassy in jamaica it's a perfect representation of typically how most things are done in japan like it's a very smooth process for me at least so it's like i went i think on the monday and i paid the money and it was about four thousand five hundred jamaican dollars 
and then I had to call it so you call it visas on Fridays yeah guys and the visa that you get it has a very short expiration date so don't be threatened by that I think it expires within three months but like it's okay you're not you don't need to renew it after the three months and I've traveled two summers with the expired visa and after that basically you're just going to want to book your ticket now most dispatch companies have specific trainings that ALTs have to go to before starting school and I really think these trainings are useful for like warming up to Japan for meeting new people I mean new ALTs like yourself I mean you're alone in this country you have no friends so it's good to know that other people are there like you who have no friends needless to say guys because of the little incidents i had so many troubles coming to japan it's not one any one sp specific person's fault so i didn't get to come in japan on the second week of april so i missed that training that, that i was talking about where people get to meet friends yeah i missed that after the training then i think you're going to have some time in japan like maybe a week where you can buy stuff before the first day of school guys I did not have a week because when I came school had already started but yeah guys so that is basically the process of becoming an ALT and then you're gonna start your first day of school no I could definitely do a video on your first day of school what it's like and what your job as an ALT is gonna be let me know in the description what you would like to see so thanks again for coming to my channel if you are new here please subscribe and please share this video to someone who may need this information yeah guys and don't forget to comment and like guys it really supports my channel so thanks again guys see you